This pastor makes a shocking announcement about the death of his wife. We're not going to do an altar call today. Instead, um, instead um, I'm going to have you stand up and I'm going to make an announcement. And um, after the announcement, I'm going to ask that you, um, you leave church quietly and, and don't talk about the announcement here in the building, please, if you can. So y'all can stand to your feet. Um, before I make the announcement, I also want to say that um, my request to you is that you will continue to come to church and serve and give um, for the next you know, little bit. Cause I don't want to have, I'm taking a little bit of a break, and I don't want to have to worry about the church. My break may be a few days, a few weeks, I don't know. Um, I got a call late last night. My wife has passed away. And yeah, it was, uh, was self-induced, and it was uh, up in North Carolina. And um, we're going to have a funeral for her next Sunday here at 3 p.m., and so um, it's, it's all I can, yeah, I'm, I'm just kind of going on um, adrenaline right now. So y'all pray for me and my kids and everybody. And uh, she was, she wasn't, y'all knew that she wasn't well mentally and that uh, she needed her, her medicine that was hard to get to her. This is Pastor John Paul Miller of Solid Rock at Market Common Church in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. And as you heard, the pastor says that his wife, Micah Miller, did this herself. The couple had been separated. Matter of fact, Micah filed for divorce back in October of 2023, but for some reason that was dismissed in February of 2024. In the weeks leading up to her death, Micah began uploading videos suggesting there was abuse. Um, I've had a lot of women that have reached out to me about um, situations of abuse, and I just want to tell you what a lot of people have told me male or female it doesn't matter it doesn't matter what what uh, gender you are abuse is abuse and you are the bride of christ and my bible says that he took all the abuse you could think of for you so that you didn't have to live that life of slavery and bondage and pain and listen to this so you don't have to stay in a abusive relationship whether that's um sexual whether that's uh somebody forcing you to take illegal drugs or alcohol abuse or physical abuse uh psychological abuse making you think that this is all your fault or you're a bad mom or you're a bad wife or you're a bad husband or you're um you're not giving it your all when you know you are god hates divorce but why according to everybody i've asked and the, the scriptures that i've found it's because it hurts people but does abuse hurt people how do you think god feels about that now, according to court documents, Pastor John filed for support and maintenance back in February of 2024. But it seems that request was denied and dismissed. Then on April 16th, Micah filed for support and maintenance herself. And a hearing notice was sent out on April 23rd. And it's my assumption that Pastor John was served on that date or a few days later. And just days after that notice... Micah Miller was dead. Now take a look at this news report provided by ABC 15. Just listen to how quickly Pastor John points out that he has evidence of Micah's mental health history. She had struggled with uh, suicide before and um, each time you know, helped her through it, took her to her doctor and we got through it and everything was fine. And she even gave a few testimonies here at church. We have on video of times where um, she had battled suicide, but but God took care of her and got her through it. But friends and family of Micah says there's more to this. This has to be at least looked into uh, deeply. There's got to be some accountability here um, because, uh, yeah, it's a tragic life was lost. And it's not just as simple as somebody had some mental issues. Take a look at this Facebook post from Micah's sister. It says, please do not listen to the false stories shared about her. Micah was a God-fearing, joyful, loving woman who did not deserve the abuse she endured. To make things even more odd, 
Look at this Facebook post from the church itself. It says, pray for those who persecute you. That was posted just hours before the recording of this video. But if that isn't interesting enough, look at what Micah said herself in one of her final Facebook posts. Once again, she suggests that terrible things are happening to her. Also want to notate a couple of things. I searched the church's Facebook page and website for a copy of this sermon. I cannot find that video. The last available service on video is from April 21st. I have also filed a Freedom of Information Act on different levels requesting all documents pertaining to this case. I am waiting for that response. And know this. Despite Pastor John announcing the cause of his wife's death, police have yet to do so. And over a week since her death, the investigation is still ongoing. When your world is shook up, you need to take a pause. And I can only pray that more people will take a pause and get... I'm trying to get my priorities straight right now. Um, and that's making sure that my heart doesn't have any unforgiveness, bitterness, resentment, just forgiveness and hope for the future and peace. Because you can't put a price on peace.